Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my home. My name is Becky. I'm so excited that you're here today. So today what I thought I would do is give you guys an extra video to see. Um, you'll still get Thursday's video. It's still coming out as planned and it's actually, it's going to be a really great video. I hope you guys watch it. It's something different that I have not done before and I'm excited for you to see it. So make sure if you are not liked, you have not liked and subscribed my channel that you do that and get notifications and everything when new videos come out because we've got a lot of good content coming up for the holiday seasons. So, um, what I thought I would do is do a little haul. I have been collecting Halloween and fall items over the last few weeks and kind of putting them in my closet. And I just thought I'd share them with you and show you what I've picked up. Um, my fall haul is, you know, it's a good little size. My Halloween haul is a little larger. <laughs> I have an addiction to Halloween decorations and I love them. I don't know what I don't know how to explain to you why I love them so much, why I love Halloween so much, but I just do. So when I walk into these stores and I see all these beautiful Halloween decorations and these little jack-o-lanterns and pumpkin men and all the my, the serotonin hits me hard and before I know it I've blacked out and I've spent every penny I have. So <laughs> I do have quite a big little Halloween haul to show you, but let's start with fall first because that one's more manageable. <laughs> so I'm going to start with Dollar Tree. Now you guys know that Dollar Tree has made a lot of changes this past year. They now have items that cost a little more and are a little nicer. So I picked up these two pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. They were $3 each. And honestly, I've been pricing the pumpkins. $3 is a really good price for this because even though it's styrofoam, um, I'll show you what I got from Hobby Lobby. And it's, it's, it's cost more at Hobby Lobby. So $3 I thought was a really good price for these pumpkins. Um, so that's all I got from there, but I did get two of those. And then I went to the Hobby Lobby. Now I got, how many did I get? I got two of this size. Now these were originally $9.99 with 40% off. So these are actually $6. Now let me show you a comparison of the two pumpkins. All right, this one was three, this one was six. This is Dollar Tree, this is Hobby Lobby. Even the stems are similar. Um, they're both styrofoam. So I was really happy with this purchase after I realized that, you know, they're it's even prettier in my opinion. The color's prettier. But um, I do like the contrasting colors and the sizes. I'm going to use them all. I've got a couple more sizes I'm going to show you. So I'm fine with that. Um, I wanted some more pumpkins to go on my hutch. Last year, my hutch was really lacking. Um, pretty enough, but it just needed something that I just didn't necessarily want to go out and buy a bunch of new things for. Um, so that's where these are going to go is on my hutch. And hopefully this will do the trick. I also picked up three of these this size pumpkin and you'll see the contrasting color these were $4.99 with 40% off Hobby Lobby again and I'm gonna put them together and I think they'll look nice and then I got this shape and size as well this one was $5.99 I'm just gonna take the stem out the bottom and like like I said let me turn it with the tag not showing the, I like the contrasting colors and the contrasting sizes to sit on my shelf, and I think they'll look nice together. So that, oh, one more thing from Hobby Lobby. Um, I got this little mini reef. Now, this little mini reef costs $12.99, but I have a specific place that I want to put it. On my blanket ladder in my kitchen, I keep a reef there. And actually, this is the reef that I keep there, but I took it down Um the other day just because I wanted something else there. I was changing things up a little bit. But for the fall, I don't want that green. I want more muted colors. So I thought this would look really pretty up there. I just have to shape it up a little bit when I get it get ready to hang it. There's a view of the of the back so you can see that it is indeed a mini reef. Okay. The next store that I went to was the Dollar General. Now I want to go back to the Dollar General because I'm seeing um, these videos on YouTube where the girls are going and they're showing what's in their store. There's a couple things that I'm interested in finding. I'm specifically looking for the little wooden leaves and I want to do a little DIY with them and change them up a little bit. But I wasn't able to find them so I'm going to keep checking. They're still putting their stuff out. I did find this little sign. I love the color. 
and I like this saying. I've, I've made a sign with the saying before, a DIY, but I just thought this was really cute and it was $3. So, heck yeah, $3. And then I found this little sign for $2. It says give thanks. And what I thought I would do with it is on that blanket ladder when I hang this wreath, I thought it would be cute to kind of hang that sign with it. So I'm gonna try that. I'm not sure if it'll work or not, but that's what we're gonna try. And then the last place I went to was a little store. I don't know if you've ever heard of this store, but if you see a sign in your neighborhood with pop shelf on it, you need to go because this is the cutest store. It is made by the same people as Dollar General. They have the same items, only nicer, only more, lots more, but the prices are still the same and they're all um, reasonable. So I bought three things from there. The first thing I got was this little sign for $4. And I'm not sure if the camera is picking up the color quite right, but it is more of a mustard yellow tone. And I just like that. I'm trying to get the shine of the camera off of there. But I just like that yellow tone. This is like an enamel sign. It's really heavy. And for $4, I could not walk away without it. Then I found this little leaf. It was $3. It's got a little leather embellishment on the front. And I just thought it was really cute. They did have other colors just like this. They also had a sign that had it matched my house. I probably would have bought two because it was so cute, you guys. And it was only like $6 or something. But it was, I think, like sage green. And it said, it had this quote from Anne of Green Gables that I really, I love that mini series. I watched it as a child, but it said, I'm so glad that I live in a world where there are Octobers. And it had the quote mark at the bottom where it said Anne of Green Gables. So it was a really cute sign. I want to go back and look at their Halloween stuff because I've seen a few pictures online and it looks really interesting and I think I'd have a good time. So the last thing that I got from Pop Shelf are these stems. I bought four of them. Um, they were a dollar a piece. And you guys, the day of the dollar is gone. <laughs> We're dollar twenty-five world now. So if you can find something for a dollar, you're doing good. Um, I thought these stems were just as pretty as anything that you'd see in Hobby Lobby. And I bought four. I really wish I had bought more, but I have a specific place in mind for these as well. So, and that is my fall haul. So now <laughs> I'm going to clean all this up and I'm going to pull my Halloween stuff out and show you that. All right, so are you ready for my Halloween haul? This is my favorite. This is just, you guys, I love Halloween. I can't explain it, I don't know why. Um, I do love Christmas and I love fall and all the other holidays, I love them all. There's something about Halloween, I don't know what it is. Um, I think because there's not any expectations of you at Halloween, you know, Christmas time, you've got to worry about buying gifts and cooking dinners and just, you know, all the things. And it's fun and it's wonderful and I love it. But at Halloween, you know, all you do is hang out with your family. And plus my girls will come stay with me. Um, we'll have movie nights and sleepovers. We'll cook cookies and um, make hot cocoa and just snuggle up in a blanket on the couch and watch Halloween movies. And let me tell you, a million dollars doesn't make me happier than, the, than those nights. Um, I do put up a Halloween tree so we have the the tree glowing and all the lights in the house and it's just magical it means everything to me so i think that's why halloween is my favorite no expectations just hanging out with my family and um i just like the feeling that you get so all right with that being said let's get started on the haul now first of all my husband he watches all my movies he calls them my movies he'll come home from work and he'll say did you make a movie today <laughs> And I'll say yes or I'll say no. But he watches all my videos. He reads all the comments. He knows what I'm doing, okay? There's no hiding anything from him. So he's getting ready to see everything that I've had hidden in the closet for the last several weeks. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we're going to start with the biggest of the stores, which is uh, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. Those are the place that typically cost more and that I usually buy more from. So I'm going to start with, let's see, let's start with the biggest item that I have. And this is 
uh, my little Annalise switch. Now, I know, I know you guys think she's creepy, these, that these little things are creepy, but I don't. I think they're adorable. I think they look vintage. I love them. I have several pieces already. She was $25. She was a splurge for me and probably the most expensive thing that I bought, but she was also the first thing that I bought. And I love her and I'm excited to have her and add her to my collection. So, yes, don't regret it. Um, the rest of the things that I bought were pretty much on a wish list that I made. I, I have to get a handle on things when it comes to Halloween decor shopping. Um, because if I don't, I'll walk in and I'll buy everything. So I made a list of things that I wanted and that were on my wish list from last year. And most everything that I'm going to show you was on that wish list with the exception of maybe one or two things. So this little item here. I wanted last year and I could not find it because for whatever reason, he was hard to find. Last year, he was $9.99. This year, oh, sorry. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. He was $14.99. So, uh, that's just my lipstick on there. Um, yeah, $14.99 for a mug is ridiculous, but I looked everywhere for him last year, could not find him. So, I went ahead and got him. You know, I don't regret it. I don't regret anything I'm going to show you. <laughs> I have no shame. But um, anyway, the next thing I got was on my wish list last year. It's just a little baking dish. and But I don't know that I'll bake out of it. I just thought it was cute because I like the jack-o'-lanterns on the side. It was only $10. It is Ray Dunn. Um, the Ray Dunn stuff was hard to find last year. There wasn't much that I wanted, but those two pieces were specifically things that, you know, that I really liked. I think it was just the simple black and white decor that I liked. I don't know, but the biggest thing on my list that I wanted was this, it was this ghost blanket. And I kept talking about it. I'm like, let's go to home. Good. Everywhere we went last year, it didn't matter if we were in the mountains or at the beach between one side of North Carolina to the other, every home goods that we drove by, I asked to stop to look for this infernal blanket. <laughs> My husband was so tired of going home goods last year, but I just wanted this blanket and I was determined to find it. Well, I did not find it. So this year at TJ Maxx, I found it. And I think it's just so cute. I don't know that I'll use it. I think I'm just going to use it for decor, but it was it was what I was looking for. You know, I just wanted it. It was speaking to me, and I had to have it. Now, there was no price tag on it when I picked it up, so the girl at the front, she gave me a price tag of $16.99, but I feel like it was probably more than that, but I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I got my ghost blanket. I'm a happy girl. Happy, happy girl. <laughs> so, and then last year, I did a tablescape, and I also... Uh, put some dishes in my hutch and the tablescape I only had enough for four place settings so the other thing that was on my wish list was to finish the place setting um, to make a six piece instead of a four piece so I did pick up two of these these were not TJ Maxx these were um, Hobby Lobby they were in the spring collection for $3.99 for 50% off and so I got two more I still need um, two orange plates from the Dollar Tree, which will go in the middle. And then in the front, I got two more of these, the little screaming pumpkins. These were $4.99 each. I don't think they match perfectly to the ones last year, but they're close enough that, and especially if I put them at the end of the table, they may not quite stand out as much, but the ones last year were more rounded. These are more oblong, but I did get two more of these. So I was happy to find that. And then I found this canister that was $10 that kind of matched. And I thought it was really cute. I like the screaming pumpkins on there. I like their faces. So I did get that. And I think that was it for Home Goods and Hobby, uh, Home Goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And actually, you guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. I bought seven things. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. The other thing that was on my wish list, I call him the Dapper Pumpkin Man. And there was, he was just a pumpkin-headed man in a suit. 
um, I just thought he was so cute. He spoke to me. I could not find him. My daughter sent me a mess. Well, she uh, FaceTimed me today. She found him for me, and she's actually buying him for my birthday. Um, she paid half, and my husband paid half, and I will be getting him very soon, and he's going to finish out my wish list for 2022 Halloween Becky Wants list. <laughs> okay, so the next place that I went to was called uh, Tuesday Morning, and I bought this before I found the other pumpkin blanket because I wasn't sure if I was going to find it, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I probably won't use that one to snuggle with. This is a snuggle blanket. This is soft and pretty. I just love the ghosts. I like the simple black and white with the pop of orange, but it was... I think $16.99 as well. This will be a movie night blanket for me and the girls to use. And they'll be happy because it's nice and soft. All right. Oh, Summer's calling me. Hold on. Sorry. She was FaceTiming me and I didn't know if she had found me some more Halloween goodies. <laughs> All right. So, I showed you the blanket. The other thing that I got from Tuesday morning was this little spatula. And I got this because it reminded me of Binks the Cat. And it was only $3.99. So, I picked that up. And then, um, so I had this one thing on my wish list that I really wanted, but I wasn't sure if I was going to find it. Um, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, I found it and I'm going to show it to you in a minute. But in the meantime, I saw these and I thought they were really cute. I got two sets because they were only $3.99, but they're salt and pepper shakers and they're candy corn. Now I used the candy corn, um, in my hutch. So, I thought they would be cute, not used for salt and pepper, but just, you know, for just decor and just for the color. So, I got two sets of those and I'm, like I said, I'm just going to use them as tchotchkes um, sitting in my, my hutch. The next place that I went to was Ross and this piece here I did spend up on, but it was another piece that was on my wish list. For the last three years, I've wanted just a plain pair of witch boots. I've not been able to find a plain pair. They all have flowers coming out of them or a, a hat laying beside it or, you know, it's just not plain and simple. These were just plain and simple. I like them. There is a, a spider web on this side. I don't care for that. So, I'll probably turn it this way. These were, you guys, Ross is getting more expensive this year too. Um, these were $17.99 but I have a specific place in mind for these above my kitchen cabinets and I I know exactly where they're going and I don't regret it at all. <laughs> I regret that they marked them so high. I don't regret getting them. My leg's going to sleep. Let me change positions here. Okay, so then I found this little pumpkin. I thought he was cute, very whimsical, very sweet. He was like six, he was $6.99. He was not on my wish list. He just, I just ran across him and thought he was precious and I picked him up. A lot of my decor is whimsical and he will match well with what I have. And then this was on my wish list. It's the Johanna Parker salt and pepper. Hold on, you got a glare. Let me get you out of the glare here. Uh, There you go. The Johanna Parker salt and pepper shakers. Um, last year I got all wrapped up in trying to find the mugs. I'll put a picture here so you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't know who Johanna Parker is, she has lots of vintage style decor. Fun decor. Nothing functional at all. It's just for funsies. You can't drink out of these mugs because they've got faces all over them. But there's like, I can't remember. There was like eight last year that I was looking for. I found them all at Ross for like three or four dollars. They weren't expensive. They can be expensive if you buy them online, but for whatever reason, Ross started carrying them a couple years ago and they just took off and everybody fell in love with them and discovered her and her brand. Um, tradition, traditions online, I think sells them. She has stuff for all the holidays, but the only thing I really buy is the Halloween. And I, like I said, I found most of the mugs last year. I was so excited to find them. It was like a, a treasure hunt for me to be able to find them. I wasn't able to find Frank and his bride, but they're available online. I'm just not paying the price that they want. It's just too much. 
And then the last place that I went to was the Dollar Twenty Five Tree, and um, they have some cute stuff this year. I was really excited. Like I said, um, my decor is whimsical, so I did pick up these little trees because I thought that they would fit in well. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put them, but I just thought they were cute. I couldn't leave them there. These things are like five ninety nine and up in the other stores. So I wasn't leaving them there. I got three of this color and three of this color. So um, stay tuned to see what I do with that. I'm gonna move these over here. Now, the next thing I got were these little, these little stems here. Now, I like I said, I do a Christmas tree or a Halloween tree. I actually do two. I do one in my living room and I do one in the guest room. The one in the guest room is little, it's not real big, but these are gonna look really cute on there because I have some black and white striped ribbon in the trees. So $1.25 each, I bought four, and I have one more thing to show you. This is my favorite. Okay, so last year I went to Michael's and I found the candy corn picks. They were $4.99 last year, so I was only able to get a few because, you know, even, <sighs> Michaels doesn't put their stuff on sale real early and me, I'm ready to buy it. I, I want it and I, I want to get my plan together. So I bought several of these last year from Michaels and I wanted more and I was going to go back to Michaels and buy more. But then I discovered that the $1.25 tree has them this year and I was so excited. I compared them. Now that one right there is a little messed up, but We'll just turn it that way and it'll be fine. But um, I bought 12. I may have overcommitted, but I bought 12. But I will find a place to put these. I, I was so excited to find them that I just bought. I just blacked out and I bought them all. <laughs> so you'll see these everywhere in my house probably come Halloween because we're going to use them. There they are. This was, this was my, like, I was so excited. I couldn't believe it. Um, that's it. That's my haul. It's not too terribly bad, I guess. Um, I'm going to have a video out Thursday. I really want you guys to see. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then I'm going to try to do a, another little extra video for you just to kind of keep the momentum going. I'll, I'll do what I can. Um, but I really appreciate you watching. I know this isn't necessarily vintage content which is why you guys probably subscribe to me, but this is me too. And this is something that I love and I, I enjoy watching hauls and decorating for the holidays on other channels. So I figured you guys would like it too. So that's what we're going to do. So I really appreciate you watching. I love you all. I'll see you later. Bye.